Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is obviously not my jungle. It's my car and I'm sitting in my car because I just got finished at the gym. I literally forced myself to go to the gym and work out because my body hurts pretty badly <laughs> but it's fine I scheduled a massage for tomorrow my hair is a mess I need to wash it so there's that in case you're wondering why I look like this um although honestly this is kind of like what I've been looking like in every video lately because I have like zero motivation to do my hair or my makeup so Thankfully, I've been using like eyebrow and eyelash serum that's like making them like look a little bit better without having to like put anything on. So anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to stop. <sighs> Calm down, girl. I'm still running on um, endorphins from the gym. Don't mind me. So we're at Mascarillo's. It only took me a minute into the video to tell you that. And we're going to go see what they have. So... I don't think they got anything in like rare plant wise from what they told me, but they definitely got in like a bunch of new tropical plants. So <laughs> we're gonna go and see what they have. We're gonna go walk around. Um, it's a beautiful day and um, it's always a great day to go plant shopping. I mean, not when you don't have money, but I'll be taking mental notes if there's anything that I want because I get paid next week. So. I'm gonna shut up now. Let's go into Moscarillos and see what they have. Okay. These pots are cute. David likes the blue. Those ones look like trending tropicals and it kind of triggers me. Okay. Oh my God, these are cute. Let's see what goes on in here today. I don't really know where to start. These are kind of cute. Oh, they'll pot it for you for free. That's cute. I didn't know that. Um, they usually have their house plants back here. Well, this is an interesting mix of plants. That one's definitely thirstier than the rest. But that's fine. Again, an interesting, probably wouldn't put a ficus in there with peperomia and syngonium if it were up to me. I don't water my ficus nearly as often as I water my syngonium. If I remember to water my syngonium, thirsty, thirsty plants. Mm, I always see these and I think they're cute and I never know what they are because I know they're like for outside. Canna, Canova Rose, they're cute. They kind of have like a banana tree vibe, but they flower. I always see them like, like next to the bank and silly things like that. Um, oh, they have some little Hoyas. Let's see, little baby Hoya Linearis for $15.99. It's definitely more than it should be. Um, this is the Parasitica Black Margin, super cute. I know that I can get these elsewhere, like these same exact plants, um, for less than that, so I'm not going to buy one, but if I do find another one soon, I probably will buy it. Oh, that one's really nice, though. Look at that leaf. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not focused, so you can't look at that leaf. I'm looking at the plant and not the screen. My legs are shaking from my workout. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's translating on camera. Um, and then they just have macrophylla, which is latifolia, technically. I still call it macrophylla because how else are we going to differentiate it between other latifolias that look exactly the same? So, these are cute with their new little leaves. The pink, okay, spending too much time on the baby Hoyas. Um, this looks all like outside stuff. I do like caladiums though. And I do like to look. This is one of those places that there's no music, it feels really peaceful. 
and I just like to wander around and see what they have. I tried to keep caladiums alive inside um, and it was fine in like a bright, really bright window. But they do go dormant when it's cold so you have to just like take care of the bulbs and keep them somewhere like dark and damp I think. Don't quote me though. I never got mine to come back so um, I don't actually know. <laughs> So there's that. Lots of succulents on the other side. They have some of the Lifesaver Cactus, Huernia. See, $20, you guys. I picked this one up in North Carolina, in case you missed it, with a bloom on it for $6. Literally $6. That is why, that is why I bought it, so. These Haworthia are really cool. This place does tend to be on the pricier side. Like this Hoya Chelsea that looks really sad and straggly for $60. That's why it's still here because nobody's going to buy that for $60. Maybe if it was $20. That's just a little, even $25 or $30 and somebody would probably still buy it. Oh, this poor guy broke. We'll stick you back like in the soil and you should root back up again just stick it in far enough so that it doesn't fall out or like flop over okay it'll reroot it'll be fine um we don't need to look at the succulents bunch of outdoor stuff really pretty flowers though all the tropical stuff i think is over here i was just trying to avoid that lady walking around on her phone. Some lipstick plants here for $30. Lipstick Mona Lisa, it says. Nice full baskets, looking really good. Definitely looking better than ones you would see at Home Depot. And only for $10 more. So again, it's just really important to understand the market when you're shopping um, in nurseries and stuff like that. So that, you know, you get good deals and you don't pay too much when you can go somewhere else probably a lot of these local places and places near you wherever you are are probably supplying their plants from a lot of the same places so they do tend to get a lot of the same stuff at the same time because of growers availability if that makes sense so here are the more rare plants they've definitely dwindled them down but this little section looks nice little philodendrons and everything although these aren't little at all they still have some varicosums and they're growing putting out all this new growth actually that's the only one I see the rest of these look like fuzzy petio um, for 30 which is a bit more I'm gonna head up to uh, Manchester soon this week at some point too, and we're gonna go to Woodland. They have a lot of these plants for cheaper, so I'm gonna hold off. Obviously, I can't buy anything, but I would hold off until I checked there as well. Um, $20 for this little Adansonii, 70 for this Standiliana Elbow. It's got some cute, growth on it that makes it look more like the yellow one um, tons of pink princess and they still have some of the variegated adansonii this one looks like it reverted so no one's gonna buy that this is why I'm hesitant with this plant adansonii is kind of a pain in the butt um, yeah 150 for that is would be a really good price actually if it had more variegation on it we saw some this one's not so bad we saw some <clears throat> excuse me we saw some in um north carolina exactly like this for way more so like i said it's just really important to know the market value of the plants that you're looking for so that you know whether or not you're getting a good price 
Um, we have some of the Royal Philodendron over here, it looks like. Pink Princess and White Knight. 38 on these. We did find one at Walmart, <laughs> in case you missed it. But it didn't look very good, obviously. Um, so we're going to keep looking for that. Because the White Knight is the only one that I don't have yet. It's my least favorite out of all of them. So that's probably why. But that doesn't mean that I don't want it. Um, so there's that pink princess over there. I'm going to leave this section because we've got the copyright, like the speakers, like right here. And it's the only, it's really the only speaker in like the whole place. So fuzzy petiole over there. They just had more philodendrons. Um, I forget the price, but we've looked at it before if you want to watch like an older video. I don't think that any of this is necessarily new. These fuzzy petioles are massive though and they're really pretty. They grow super fast though so if you just want to spend 20 bucks on a baby plant and throw it on a pole it won't take you very long to get here. Mine grew so crazy fast but then the spider mites also killed it insanely crazy fast so that was unfortunate. And I just, I never got another one. So I got the Summer Glory instead. And I like it. Oh, cute little variegation on this African violet. Look at that. You got some little variegated spots there. It's only $6. So not mad about that. I found one a couple years ago, a year ago maybe at like Lowe's or something for $4. It's still alive. I just don't think it has any more variegation. Um, but then my friend Karen over at Paul's and Sandy's gave me like a baby plant of an actual variegated one, not just like a random sport variegated. So it stays variegated. Um, but it's in the greenhouse. I should probably take it out so that I can see it and enjoy it. I just put it in there because it's so small. I was afraid that I would forget to water it. She actually gave me two and I gave one to my grandma and hers is doing, hers is doing really well. So I'm not mad about that. Um, uh, we skipped over vanilla orchid. Super cute. Every time I've had one, I've killed it. No matter how much I water it, it doesn't seem to ever be happy. 75 for these but I didn't know until I got one that this is legitimately where vanilla beans come from they come from an orchid vanilla orchid so super cute I had a variegated one I had a regular one they both just completely melted um, and I don't know why because I, I kept them in the same conditions as everything else And um, it just hated me, apparently. It's just so, we're not gonna do that again. Uh, let's see, some ficus over here. All of the cacti. I've bought countless cacti from here. I'm just like on a ban. I'm not allowed to buy any cacti or succulents unless they're super weird and I've never seen them before. Calathea musaica or a network plant for $40. I hope my phone doesn't die. I only have like 20% battery. <laughs> That's fine. If the video just suddenly ends, you know why. Oh wow, this Maranta is huge. Look at that leaf. That's really pretty. Wow. I want to buy you. $40. <laughs> You're so pretty. I just got a variegated one. Um... So we're gonna work on like keeping that one alive first because I killed my, my black band and my silver band is not looking great either. I mean, in my defense, it was just like a one leaf cutting. If it was a more established plant, maybe it would be happier. I don't know, because my lemon lime looks really sad as well, but I also don't feel like that's my fault. <laughs> it is partially my fault, it fell and I, it lost like half of its soil and I haven't repotted it yet, so it's kinda just like not doing great. $60 for this Syngonium Wendlandii is too much, which is why they're still here. 
Um, I got mine for $12 or $15 maybe. I don't remember. Alocasia Tiny Dancer, even though these are not tiny at all, they're so weird. And I low-key want one, but David and I both had this plant separately and we both really struggled with it. Not just because it's an alocasia, $31.99 for these. Um, it just seems to be a particularly finicky alocasia and I'm not sure why because the leaves aren't really like thin or anything and like, but this one, look, this one looks thick. So I feel like it would be easier to keep it happy. I don't know. I showed these to David and he was like, holy crap. I wouldn't be mad about having one of those. But I'm a little traumatized and you know I'm not buying alocasia this year. Um, Sissus Discolor for 45 in this very full, very lush, and very beautiful hanging basket. Um, I don't know what this is, but it looks like Polonia. Just like a different kind than what I'm used to seeing. Yeah. Pelionia repens, begonia vine. Um, this one's really cute. I like that. I just don't like how it grows. It has like a Tradescantia vibe to it. Um, and it just kind of triggers me. <laughs> I feel triggered by so many plants. These Alocasia Regal Shields are massive for 65. Huge leaves. Xanthosoma Lindenii for 35. Working on a new leaf there. Um, see, this alocasia is just so pretty though. I'm very tempted by it and it's blooming. Look at that leaf. Isn't it pretty? Alocasia reginae. Reginae? I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to look this one up because it looks similar to my dragon's breath, but it's not. It's thicker and it's like more dragon scaly feeling, but I love the sinus that gives it these cute little lobes. I just think it's a really cute plant, and I've been checking it out here for quite some time. It looks like it has a little, little baby corn popping up out of here too. So, I don't know. I know I'm not, I said, at least I said I wasn't going to buy any more alocasia but that one is very tempting because of how well my dragon's breath is doing and how beautiful it is i'm curious how big those leaves can get variegated string of pearls for 32 i always do terribly with those um so i don't buy them anymore regular string of pearls fine but the variegated ones always die peperomias some ferns. They have these cute Schismaglata silvers. Um, and then a ton of hanging baskets of Hoya pubicalix. Super underrated in my opinion. I love the splash on these. Um, they have some larger baskets of uh, Crimson Queen for 50 I mean, these definitely are harder to find for some reason than the princess, but I feel like you can get one for less than 50. Anthurium pterodactyl for $40, super duper cute. I don't really do Anthurium, but I am very tempted by that one every time I see it. Some strawberry begonias. Geogenanthus, Peperomias, some Schifflera, pretty much like the usual stuff that we see. Um, this one is cute. Sorry, I'm trying to get away from the speaker <laughs> so that I don't have to edit out the music. Um, I don't know what this is. I forget. I think it's some sort of Tradescantia, but it's cute.
Gleonema is over here. This one's cute. It looks different than this one. Agleonema assorted. Oh, that's not very helpful. We saw a really cute one at Lowe's one time and I didn't buy it. Now I'm kind of mad that I didn't buy it because I haven't seen it again since. But this one's pretty. It just has like an extra chunk of so Or is this? This isn't Silver Bay. No. It's not shiny. But it kind of almost looks like it with that stripe down the middle. But then it kind of gives you like this little camo vibe that I'm into. I don't know. They call this one Maria. Um, so I don't really know. But it's cute. Super cute. All the different types. This is commutatum, I'm pretty sure. I get it confused with this one. They look kind of similar, like not right now because you're seeing them side by side, but um, I don't know. Like when I don't see them together, I get confused. So, Diphenbachia. Oh, hello. Okay, thank you for that. That's on me. That's my fault. I touched it. <laughs> Some sad chlorophytum. Uh, I think those are like mandarin spider plants, they call them. Some more alocasia. Portadora, cute, very cute. Holy crap, those are huge. Look at that streak of green. That's so cool. It looks like variegated, but I don't see any variegation just on the stem. That's really cool. I mean, it's probably, it's a thing that like neon colored plants usually do like if you have um the lemon lime philodendron sometimes you'll get leaves that have little green spots on it and it's not necessarily like sport variegation it's kind of just a genetic thing that the plant does so alocasia louder bachiana for 28.99 i also call this purple sword um, I had a variegated corn from my friend Tessa, and I killed it, and I'm still sad about it. Um, this is the first time I've even talked about it. <laughs> it's been months since that thing died, so yes, I am devastated, in case you were wondering. Some cute Rex begonias that need a little bit of love, $20. I always like this silver one. I like all of them, to be honest with you. They just, they don't like me. Like, I've killed this one. I've killed this one. I've killed one that kind of looked like this. Um, yeah, so, like, we just don't, we just don't do that anymore because it makes me sad. I can't keep up with their needs. Um, and at this point in time, if things don't thrive in my environment, then I don't want them in my environment because I don't want to be stressed out trying to take care of plants all the time, you know? 45 again for the Sissus Discolor. Lots of peace lilies. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Most of it's like outdoor veggies and flowers. It looks beautiful. Um, kind of curious if they have any dahlias for me to look at, because those are my favorite. But they've got so much. Normally this, like in the colder months, ends right here. So they open all of this up for spring and summer so that people can get all of their uh, their outdoor stuff so you know are these dahlias these look like dahlias look at you you're so cute yeah so there's that dahlia montana cute so yeah, that's my, my favorite. There's so many different kinds. 
of dahlias. I don't know any of their names. Oregon, oh, these are just like named after the places that they're from, but they're really pretty. Mm, I want one. I wish I had like a porch or like any anything outside where I could put them. It would make me really happy, but someday, someday. Um, I think that's it for the house plants. I'm gonna take a peek around if I see anything else. I'll definitely show you guys. Um, oh, this coleus is really cool. It looks like a sunset. Coral sunrise. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Same thought process. Um, it's really pretty. Coleus to me look like they came from an alien planet. Like, I don't know if you guys play The Sims, but if you do and you build a rocket ship and you go to an alien planet, you can like harvest the plants from there and grow them. And they are really weird and really cool looking. And that's kind of what these remind me of. So don't judge me. Yes, I still play The Sims and I don't care. Looks like they got tray leaf in stock here as well. Um, oh man, they don't even sell these anymore. What the hell? They literally don't even sell these little baby ones anymore. Um, but I can leave this link down below for you guys if you want to check it out. They've got the dark wood. Nice. The Zella is one of my favorites because you can keep extending it to grow your plants that want to be on a plane. But I absolutely love these two, just the mini Anthrula and Monstrella. So I'll leave that link down below for you guys with my discount code and all that fun stuff if you want to check it out if you haven't yet for some reason. If you're new to my channel and you haven't seen me talk about these before I've been working with tray leaf for a long time now and it's an amazing company based out of Atlanta they locally source a lot of their wood everything is sustainable even their packaging is all paper even when you order it online um, you're not getting it in any like styrofoam or anything like that so definitely recommend checking it out again I will leave that linked down below for you guys so you can check it out if you want to we have some cute pots but it doesn't look like anything like new so yeah that's really it for this video except for this turtle i love this turtle it's so cute
okay fam so that was mascarillos um i'm like i lost all my endorphins and now i'm just tired and hungry and like about to crash so hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with me today let me know if you saw anything that you would have bought um definitely stay tuned we're gonna be heading to woodlawn like i said no woodland woodland gardens in manchester this week we're gonna go to the lowe's and the home depot up there as well i don't know if there's a walmart over there but if there is we'll probably reluctantly go into that as well since um the one in southington has got me like okay i understand the walmart plant hype now because they actually have a nice greenhouse it's just that you have to understand that where i come from in new york we don't even have walmart <laughs> and if we do it's not nice like it's not a nice place to go <laughs> and a lot of them are like that in connecticut too so i think it just really depends on the town. I'm assuming that Southington is a pretty wealthy town because they have a really nice and clean Walmart and a greenhouse that's actually open. I don't understand the point of having a garden center if you're not even going to like just open it up and have anything. Um, so yeah, that's on the plan. We're also going to head down to Dietrich again. Um, I have to schedule when I'm going to do that, either at some point this week or next week, uh, to check out what they have in stock and also, um, give you guys a little bit of a tour of the place, a little bit of a behind the scenes of all of the growing and stuff that they do there because they grow, um, all of their own like veggies and stuff, if I'm not mistaken. So I know that not everybody's into that. So you could always just like end the video after the house plants and not keep watching it, but for those of you who are interested in that, we are going to do that soon as well. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed yet, um, definitely do that so you don't miss anything from me. Um, but yeah, I got to do my whole spiel or else I don't know what to do with the icons. So you should give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell again so you don't miss anything from me. Your phone will notify you when I upload. Um, there's a join button if you want to be part of the official plant fam. It's just a membership program. Don't be afraid to click the button. It won't automatically sign you up. It'll just show you what you get um, and how much. There's different tiers. It's really mostly just a way to support me and this channel and be able to talk to me on Instagram more directly if you want to. Um, all of those good things. So <laughs> anyway, there's also a super thanks button if you don't want the monthly commitment. But you guys know the spiel. Obviously, I appreciate you even if you just give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed. Share this video with your plant friends too. Um, definitely make sure that they're subscribed as well. All of that helps me out. So that is it again for this video. I'm going to go home and eat some food and take a shower and crash. <laughs> and look, very much so look forward to my massage tomorrow because my body hurts you guys david and i have been going on like little hike walk thingies more regularly and oof girl the fact that i do not do cardio is showing my calves were killing me it's fine everything is fine we need to go get new shoes at some point next week so that is it for real this time. I love you guys so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.